but after just a matter of minutes. And it was 2-0 minutes later, Ronnie McFaul's men providing only token resistance as the Glens repeated the same ploy with similar results. Russell's cross again met by McCann, this time an even better finish, flashing past Dalton and in. Roy Coyle's side could easily have had half a dozen by the interval. As it was, they had only a single goal advantage as Nigel Quigley rose highest to head past the static Armstrong. But Glen Torn now had a taste for goals and McCann's innocuous long ball into the heart of the port's seven defenders was unchallenged. Brian Russell beating the hesitant Dalton and bravely heading home. Portadown clawed their way back into the game through Vinnie Arkins. The big Dubliner, who'd as many league goals as the entire Glen side before the game, grabbed the sixth, side-footing past Armstrong after Tony Sheridan's initial run. And Ronnie McFall's side were level when Arkins was awarded a penalty following a challenge from Armstrong. Arkins striking, this time right-footed to leave it 3-3. However, the Glens were not to be outdone. Within two minutes, they were back in front when McCann fed square to John Kennedy, who unleashed the perfect shot with more than ample power and precision to restore the Glens' advantage. And midfielder Scott Young completed the scoring, deceiving Dalton with an in-swinging corner. Not that there couldn't have been more, McCann squandering the opportunity of a hat-trick when Dalton saved his second penalty in as many weeks. Portadown slumped to the foot of the table. Glen Torrens returned to form.